Hey everybody, this is Arturo Aguirre coming to you uh, to tell you to show you how to create an inking brush in Photoshop. Uh, here I'm showing you that I'm working with one of the basic brushes, you know, the basic round brush, round hard brush. Okay, so you're gonna go to your brush uh, presets and lower the spacing depending on how powerful your computer is uh, that's the as low as you can go I mean I, I, I go to 1% because my computer is you know, it's, it's re recent it's pretty new so uh, it can handle it you're gonna set the angle jitter to uh, to direction and the roundness jitter to pen pressure in the shape dynamics tab okay then you're gonna squash the the hard brush to about 36 percent uh, or 40 percent but I'll, I'll adjust that later and here I'm testing out the brush I mean it's nice for long fluid strokes I mean due to the the angle s since it's set to direction if you fidget with your brush a little too much like back and forth it uh, it drives the brush a little insane so I recommend it more for long long strokes with the brush you know like don't overthink too much I mean you might like that look uh, with uh, with the little bits of the line popping out at the end but if you don't there's a bit of cleanup uh, that's involved but I just uh, I just enjoy working with this type of brush a lot that's what I do most of my my final line art on my sketches with and uh, with the whole Inktober coming up uh, some people do their their Inktober pieces on in Photoshop which I think is uh, it's a little, defeats the purpose a little bit but if uh, if you want to do it I mean some some comic books are are, are inked digitally so <laughs> I mean, if somebody else is doing it, you can give it a try, but I personally am going to try um, with real, actual, you know, markers and pens and stuff this, this, this October coming up, see how that goes. I'm setting it to an angle, because I'm left-handed. If you're right-handed, you might want to set it to 45 degrees in the opposite direction. But uh, I mean, it gives a slightly different effect. You go for the thick and thin. Uh, it works pretty nicely. But uh, I'm going straight with the with the no angle for this one. It was just testing that. Okay. And uh, adjusting to 40%, like I mentioned before. Trying it out with some letters. I mean, it's not 100% accurate, but it'll do. <laughs> I mean, I, I love working with, with this type of brush. Anyway, uh, give it a try, and uh, I hope you like it. I hope it works for you. And uh, good luck, you know. Keep creating and keep creative. All right, bye-bye.